You've got to tune to the Midday Show here on listener-powered KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online around the world at kexp.org. Factory Floor are live right here in the KEXP studios. Can't wait to chat with them, but why don't you start off with some music?
Factory Floor live on KEXP. That sounded great. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks. Thank you. you. Can you introduce the band? Um, I'm Mick Void. I play guitar and sing. And it's Gabriel Guernsey. He plays drums. And, and Dominic Butler, who plays electronics and synths. I'm so intrigued by so many things in the band. What, this is the first time I've seen you live. I've been enjoying your debut album since the fall. And when you listen to the music, it feels like it's more than a musical art form. And watching you, that seems very true as well. You seem to sort of expand beyond just making music and approach your music from a lot of different ways. Does, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think because um, we're not trained musicians and we come from a, an idea, a perspective of going to art school and in introducing that kind of... Uh, the way that we talk about um, how songs are constructed is more in a visual sense. So if, if we're doing a score, it would, it would look like shapes as opposed to notes. So. Even watching you play your instruments, it doesn't seem like you're playing them <laughs> even the normal way that people would. And when you sing... Um, it feels like you're sort of cut, cutting your vocals up as if you were manipulating them in the studio as you even perform them live. Is that an effect that you're going for? Or, well, obviously what you're doing is what you're going for, but I feel like my questions don't make sense. I'm just sort of responding ta tangibly to the music. No, no they, they do make sense because, um, I mean, observing what we do and, and listening, I mean, it's, it's more, I'm really interested in the, um, process of vocals being manipulated and regurgitated and the sounds are more important than the, the lyrics. So um, the, the lyrics are very broad, you know, you can make your own um, thoughts and what that, that they mean to you as an individual. So hopefully it gives you more space to kind of let yourself go and, and get involved in it as dance music. So it's more of an instinctive way of playing with hardware, with electronics, with um, sounds and processing and because um, we, we recorded our own record and um, a lot of that was learned in the process of recording so and we kind of tried to redo this live. It makes me very curious to know what the process of recording is like for you all. I feel I picture you as like mad chemists <laughs> in a sound lab. Yes it's quite intense. I mean, we, we lived in um, lived in the studio that we made up in North London in a warehouse and we would be listening to one idea for three days and take one segment out of that for five to 15, 14 minutes which would end up being the track so um, it is quite a slow process it's about taking away being a bit more minimal with our attack so that again it gives you like free thinking as a as a listener and um and we we got heavily involved with the processing and um, and buying more equipment <laughs> and and not learning them properly, not reading the manuals, like finding our own way of like um, t of how we wanted to use our equipment. So this tends to bring out different sounds to what the normals what they actually used for. Your equipment is very visually arresting. It almost seems like an art installation. And I read somewhere that you actually did an art residency at a contemporary art 
Institute that uh, involved a lot of different art formats. Yeah, we did. Um, we did one at Tate Modern, which was um, it was a it was a live um, rehearsals. So we were rehearsing for three hours, where the spectators could come and watch. And then we had a residency at the ICA, which is the Institute of Contemporary Arts in London, um, for a year. So that allowed us to have a space and um, organize it how we wanted. Invite. Um, people to collaborate with with us, like um, Peter Gordon from Love Life Orchestra from New York and um, Simon Fisher-Turner, who um, is from London. And it, it was just a really learning, um, an amazing experience because it was, we, it, we invite, it was challenging at the same time, so. It yeah. seems like you're a band that continually wants to challenge yourself. I heard, or I read that if you get tired of playing an instrument, you just, change instruments in the band and play something new or play it in a different way? Um, we we had a bit of shift of instruments when I first joined in um, um, t 2010. When did I join? A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, no idea. Um, but that kind of changed the shift in, in, in how we were as a band um, we become more dance orientated so um, and then we found our own space while playing together we all knew we had some sort of chemistry mentally but we weren't sure how it would work physically using instruments but we did realize that we responded to each other in quite a visceral instinctive way so we found our own space with the sound within the music and we stuck to the, to like I, st I stuck with guitar but i've manipulated it with bows and and sticks and Gabe has numerous drum machines along with his we, we've kept a drum and guitar which is quite unusual for live dance music um, but we've also keeping with modulars and, and electronics and synthesizers so it's just it's just kind of a process of growing along I mean we've kept playing live at the same time that's really important to us to um, improvise when we're playing live um, so it just keeps growing and growing <laughs> Well, it is a very danceable sound, as you say, and you're playing tonight at Barboza, yeah. Factory Floor, a very arresting band to watch and hear live. Do you have another song? We yeah. do, we do. This one's called Fall Back, and it's off a record which is out now on DFA Records, called Factory Floor. <laughs>
Factory Floor live on KEXP playing tonight at Barboza in Seattle. Thank you all so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle.